Hello, welcome to Hange for You How To Reviews, and today we'll be assembling the Weber Spirit E210 LP Gas Grill. So let me get inside the box and get to it. All right, before we get started, the best thing about Weber's for my do-it-yourselfers is that the bag is always marked A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it's very, very easy to assemble once you go through these guidelines. You don't have to sit back and measure every screw piece by piece. And sometimes there are different things in the bag, like bag B also has washers, but you're not going to have to differentiate between what screw is what. First thing you do, Here and put your wheels on. The good thing about this is it shows you where your locking wheels go. So you can't mess that up. It lets us know to take screw A which is already marked in the bag. And I'm attaching them to the bottom piece. And this also holds the LP gas cylinder. You get the locking. The ones is locked. And the cast that don't lock. I don't tighten up the screws here until all four is in. Makes it so much easier to line up the screws with the holes. That step is finished. The next step is to flip it around. Your locking wheels should be up front. And you're going to attach your sides panels here with bag. B, 
Again, it's all marked. And this one, you have to make sure that when you put in the right side on, that you have the magnet here. It's for the door. to get mine started. I hand screw about two in. Holds it up for you already. and get the other side. done. So now you have both sides. With your grill done, the next step <clears throat> is to put the back on. When you put that together with screws B as well. Four screws out of bag B and four washers.
<coughs> you want to make sure that this hole right here is at the bottom. This goes with the LP and a natural gas. Usually just connect it right here. This hole right here connects to the natural gas, comes out the back so you can connect it to your house. And I'm doing this another good tip because I you see I have the grill elevated so I'm not bending over too much to put anything together if you don't have a table you can actually use the box that it came with once you empty everything out of it all right now the back is done and your next step is to put the bars going across the side that's step five And they come with two. Plain one and this one right here. So you want to make sure your first one is the plain one. You'll be connecting that in the back with bag B again, screws, four screws, four washers. When you're doing this, make sure this line right here, if you can see, at the bottom, facing forward. It's kind of almost like what the grill sits on. done. Next step. I call it a drip tray. This right here connects to the side and is actually Hose the drip pan when you cook it. That goes on with B as well. Two screws, two washers. And here 
right-hand side, on the left-hand side, when you're facing the grill, you actually see three holes. This will fit comfortably. Inside, like so. step comes along from the rails I showed you earlier, the one with the curve here. That goes in the front. Again, with bag B. The difference is you're not putting four screws in, you're only using two. The bottom two. Footnote, this loop right here, make sure it's on the left hand side. That's the important. Now that we're here, this is almost finished. Your next step is actually to put your actual grill top on. And when it comes to that, I usually just take this down. Because now you're trying to work too high. All your wires, where they supposed to be. This wire get touched inside here, inside the grill box. Same as this. This is your gas connector. You know you got it on right. The bag B again you're going to put in your two screws here. Now, the difference between this from bag B, you're not using the plastic washers, you're using the metal star washers to go with the screws. two holes I showed you earlier.
like so. Now your next step, same as all, step 11, you're actually going to attach the bottom piece here to the side tray back over here, the side panel, using bag B, that would screw with the plastic washer. here the LP and the natural gas grill are exactly the same this one has one extra piece and the other doesn't it's actually this piece here it holds your LP tank and it actually tells you how full your tank is as well for this one you're going to open up bag C Two screws on the same side as you put this on. You want to make sure that when you're putting this on, because this is not upside down, it's this way. You can tell by here, do you see how the tanks are? You don't want it this way. It'll be this way. Next, you're going to stay on the same side and you're going to insert two more screws at the bottom and that's to hold or give it like the brace to the LP tank. And that's also out of bag C. Now your next step, step 12, you're actually going to attach this to the side, to the left side, using bag D. And this right here holds your battery up your arm to actually start your grill. It's the ignition. Out of bag D, 
you get two screws, two small plastic washers. two sets of holes down here. You're going to go and use the holes at the bottom, further to your left, not the ones closer to the front. Yeah, here. Important part here is to make sure you see this wire, you run this wire through the front. It needs to attach to the initial starter that we just assembled. This is gonna sit. Attach the two screws right here under the knobs out of bag E. Right here, out of bag E. See here? You're also going to find there's two holes at the bottom which you didn't put in when you put in that front bar. So it'll be two holes at the bottom that's empty. You're going to actually put those. I'm gonna put screw B at the bottom. So I have bag E, screw E. There's only be two screws left in bag B. No washers. We're at the bottom. never tighten the other two screws down here completely so now I tighten those perfect the next step for this one is to put on the side pieces now what I'm about to put on is actually going to hold your side trays, and in this model, they're foldable. I'll show you. that the arrow is facing up. You put this on here. Mm -hmm. 
And the best way is try to get all four of them on at the same time. Four metal nuts and four metal screws. I mean, four metal washers. do the same on both sides. See, there's an arrow and it's facing up. For your do it yourselfers, when you actually tighten up these nuts, if I'm mistaken for the size 10, if you're using a drill, be very careful. You should hand tighten these, especially if it's your first time putting them together. You should hand tighten these. Actually, it's size 11. Size 11 socket. Assemble the 
foldable side trays. Now this could be tricky. You need to use the over here. These two here. So the key ring goes to the back. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Great space saver. Now your next step, you want to grab this out of D, bag D, and put these inside the two holes. You're facing it on the left hand side. and they hold your wire. Next, you wanna take the wire that you ran from the front panel, connect it down at the bottom where your ignition battery goes. So, and the two clips we just put together actually hold your wires. Mm -hmm. Some wires in there. It's right here. A lot of people don't explain. This chain dangling. It's actually for manual ignition. For some reason, if you don't happen to have a battery you want to connect or you want to grill that day, you don't have a battery, you actually will put a match at the tip of this and manually ignite it. Deadly battery. Hold at the bottom. Get 
tray. Make sure you put this before you put the door on. It's so much easier. The tray and the tray holder goes in like so. Except is to put your cap back on. Get you had the screw. Next step will be your door. You open up bag G. First thing you do is put this here down at the bottom. That's going to hold your door. handle and your door. You want to put the handle on the door. Easy way to do so. Put on some cute um, cardboard on your grill. This round piece in the hole. This goes where you just put the round piece. This is plastic, so if you're using a grill, if you're using a drill, you need to be careful. Or you can hand tighten it. Easy way to attach this door. Right here. Then hit the bottom. Just with a flathead screwdriver. So. You will actually press down here. So, the little piece you put down here. Like so. Now your last steps is to put on the knobs and everything inside the grill.
So he's going for the great. And the two ten, the two burner comes with two. And the last but least, I actually call this, you know, like to put your bread, you want to touch your bread. Completed it. When you hit the ignition button, you hear the clicking sound. That means your battery is on the right side. If it doesn't make that clicking sound, check the wires or maybe check to see if you put the battery in there. But that's it. This is the assembly of the Weber 210 LP grill. Now, don't forget hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and also check in because I most likely will be doing a review on this exact same grill I put together and thank you for visiting Hands For You Assembly How To and Reviews until next time see ya